What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to be showing you make the interior for your Hello Neighbor Alpha 2 Neighbor House. Now, I'm actually recording this live because I think I have to edit this on DaVinci and it's weird if I don't, so um, if anything weird happens, then there you go. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show it. The shed is already done, it's kind of just the interior. Also, I really had some troubles at some point, so I apologize. Oh, that's a mangrove stair, interesting. Um, so um, yeah, I, I do apologize for that. But, um, yeah, I'll show the upstairs in a minute here. I really don't have a ton to say. I'm just kind of here for the ride. I gotta go for the entirety of this, too, which is awkward, considering it is live. Um, but, uh, yeah. Hopefully Alpha 3 will be soon after this, because I like Alpha 3, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space name for this day, well, you don't need any, I almost just said the numbers, you don't need any space, all you need is your alpha tube from, like, a week ago, I don't really know, it is whenever. Uh, you do need some materials, though, and the ones you need to start off are wharf planks, light blue concrete, oh, I hate everything, hold on, birch doors, iron doors, Smooth cord slabs, and I guess we'll get out oak slabs and oak planks, and I need to check one thing, because I don't recall if it is also warped. Okay, it is also warped. I'm also going to peek in the window, because I kind of forgot. Okay, yeah, it is. What's the staircase? Acacia. Mm. Yeah, we'll get out the acacia stairs, and I believe the other block is cyan concrete that I'm going to tell you to get out. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. For one, this is actually the first video where I'm doing two floors of a Hello Neighbor interior in one part. And for two, um, we're going to start by doing both layouts, kind of. We're going to basically box in the first floor, and then we're going to box in the second floor. Just because I said so, I don't know. Now, if, you know, it's a little bit dim in here. You got some unfortunate lighting, so I'm going to uh, pop on some night vision. Uh, if you do not want to have the bubbles in your face, just put true at the end, or do slash effect, add as night, underscore vision, whatever time you want, one, and then true. So, we're gonna start from now, and I'm gonna say this, OCD-wise, if you want to do the base as bricks, you can. I really couldn't care less. So I'm gonna do light blue concrete, but you wanna come to the back right-hand corner of your build, and I need my note sheet for this, that would be, I think, wise. Let me open it. Where is it? There it is. Uh, you want to start from this back right, and you want to count forward by three. And on this fourth block, you want to place a light blue concrete. And come back to the back right-hand corner again, and you want to count left by six. And going forward from this block, you want to place four light blue concrete. Bring this front one right in an additional block, and then come back to that corner that you just brought right one from. And you want to bring forward an additional four. And place a warped plank. Light blue concrete. And then connect it right. Come back to this uh, kind of front left hand corner of the bathroom. Which is the bit room we just made the uh, layout for. And once you come forward an additional two light blue concrete. Then you want to go left with three planks. Uh, where the frick was I? Hold on. Two light blue concrete, and then you want to go back by eight. And then I'd connect this corner right and also back. Now you're going to notice, and I don't actually know if that is like like that in the actual game, but you're going to notice that almost gives you like an H. But you want to come to the front left-hand corner of that hallway there that we just made, and you want to bring it forward with a light blue concrete, a wharf flank, and then connect all the way forward. You want to, basically in line with the hallway entrance, which is this little row where there's the three-word planks, you want to come through to this kind of corner here. It's like a three-way intersection. And you want to bring this light blue concrete here left with an additional six light blue concrete. Warped plank. Six light blue concrete. Forward by five. Right two. Forward one. Place warped plank and then a light blue concrete. Like so. Now, what you want to do is you kind of have this weird, like, 
It's almost a backwards question mark. And it ends up being where the living room door comes to this kind of main hallway here. It's this warped plank right here. It's closest to the front entrance. You want to basically find this row that goes left to right. And it's a little row of three. And you want to, from this left side, you want to go left and additional light blue concrete. Then three warped planks. Light blue concrete. Then go back with eight light blue concrete. Warped plank. And then you'll go... One light blue concrete, and then you're going to have these brick blocks here. You want to take the second one here, and you want to bring it right with six light blue concrete, three warped planks, light blue concrete. Then you'll go back with a light blue concrete, back with a warped plank, and then back with two light blue concrete. Take this kind of corner here between these two little uh, pl warp plank sections, and you want to just take this all the way to the right. So that will kind of box off everything. Now, you want to... You want to take this corner again that we just kind of brought right. It's this light blue concrete. You want to count right, or, yeah, right by one, and then you want to go forward with three cyan concrete... Light blue concrete, then you'll go left with the light blue concrete, and then you should just connect forward, and then that is your layout complete. Uh, before we fill in the floor, I forgot one very minor step here. This wall, the bedroom wall, you just want to take this kind of front left corner and bring it forward by three, and then that will actually wall that off. Now, there's one thing. So, each one block, warped one block of warped plank, you want to place a birch door on, and you just want to place it with the handle facing right from the way that you're looking at it, which I would actually recommend working kind of from the front and almost branching out, so like, you know, basically as you walk through the doors, the doors will be on the half of the block that you're, like, walking towards them from. There are two exceptions to this, however, and they're both kind of on the right-ish side. Um, like, all these are fine, that one's not. It's the bathroom door and the basement door, which if you know where those are, uh, good. So you can kind of see what the doors I have are. There's four of them. Uh, but the basement door is the one directly in front of me. It's kind of like the middle-ish one, and you want to place an iron door on that one. And the bathroom door is still a birch door, just the handle faces left. So, um, yeah. Also, so you want to take the, um, third light blue concrete in front of the birch door here in the bedroom. It's this kind of left room. This light blue concrete right here, you want to bring it inward by one, and you also want to kind of just trail it across and place one on the other side like that. And then from here, every light blue concrete is just going to be brought up with four light blue concrete. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to say the three block doorways, you just want to connect above at the only the top row of light blue concrete. Um, now in each room, you want to fill in your floor in with warped planks. Now, there's one other thing that I want to do for the first floor, and that's kind of where that uh, staircase becomes weird. So, I'm going to tell you, in line with the cyan concrete here, or I guess not in line with it, but one block to the left, I'm going to just place a row of ups and on smooth quartz slabs in line with the top light blue concrete. And then from there, I'm going to tell you to fill in your entire ceiling in with upside down smooth quartz slabs, except for the area to the right of this. And I guess you also don't have to do that back hallway again, because why does it matter? Once you've done that, you should have something that looks very, like, ominous. I don't know why. Something about being here, just, like, with a fully empty house is just, like, it almost has that, like, liminal feel. Like, it looks so familiar, but it's not... I don't know. Anyway, come to the cyan concrete over here, and it's kind of just doing its thing. And you want to place a revocation stairs on top of it, and kind of to the left of it like this. So it basically covers it up. That row on top is going to be removed. That's just for a temporary thing. Um, then you want to place going up diagonally out with another row of acacia stairs. And I think actually everything should line up fine here. Now, I would recommend actually destroying this middle row of acacia stairs at the bottom three, this one right here, which was on top of the cyan concrete. Just bring the cyan concrete uh, all the way up so it covers that gap. Uh, but you want to take this row of acacia stairs here and bring it right with three rows of acacia planks. Take the end two rows, so these right two, and bring them up diagonally forward with acacia stair rows that are each too long, and they just kind of go up and towards the front of the build like so. 
Now, this next step's a little strange, but um, basically what you want to do is you want to kind of encase the bottom row of this in light blue concrete. So it's just like the bottom... I don't want to say the bottom row. It's like that. You just want to encase it like that. So it's one short of that top row of stairs. And then what you want to do from there is you can get rid of your acacia planks and get out stripped oak wood. And you want to basically follow the pattern with stripped oak wood going around. And it'll go on top of the cyan concrete. It'll go around this kind of hole. And you can just connect it all the way forward if you want. And then on this side, I'd bring it in and then uh, back one. So it is, again, basically just like enclosing the stairs entirely. Um, that's fairly easy, I think. But what you want to do is you want to basically take this row of stripped oak wood at the left and kind of this little area at the back here. You just want to place light blue concrete on top. I'm going to say until it touches the ceiling, which will be at varying heights, I suppose. But I'm just going to go up and up and up and keep going up until I can't anymore. Because, you know like that and then basically everything right of this you want to fill in the floor with warped planks including behind this wall here this is kind of important that you don't forget that so um yeah and i think about now is the time that i should boot up my pc and at least attempt to put this or get this world up all right now we can get rolling boys so um from the staircase you want to take this left side of it which is this side it's the the other side, basically. It's the one that the cyan concrete is uh, located at. And you want to bring these four stripped oak woods each up with light blue concrete. I really should give myself some night vision on PC. That's a good idea, isn't it? You then want to take this front row and connect it left. And that's where this wall comes into play. Because it, it's kind of a wall. I don't really know what you want from me there. And I'm, again, bringing everything as far up as I can. Like that. Not at the far back, but one block forward, you want to break a doorway, and uh, you want to place a... God dang it, I forgot the floor! And you want to place a birch door with the handle facing forward there, and yeah, the, make sure you have the warp plank underneath. Let's fill in the floor in here real quick. It's not really crazy, it's just a little floor. Uh, again, I'm sorry, I don't know what is happening right now. There's too many walls and stuff. I blend the walls... Granted, I could probably, brim, probably blame the walls any day, but, any day, but we're going to ignore that. Lord, I can't blame it for my English, though. Ouch. So, you want to take... Again, you want to come back to this corner you just brought left to create kind of this wall here. You want to take the uh, fourth block up, and you want to bring it forward with three light blue concrete. Connect it down to the ground, and then you want to... Essentially connect it forward, except there's one weird thing with this. In the, at the second row, you can, you know, connect the bottom and the third, I'd say. At the second row up, you're going to want to leave a one block app and then fill it in, and then again, everything else will just be, you know, standard. I'd also probably recommend bringing this thing down with a row of light blue concrete there, like so. And then at the other side of this wall here, it's just a matter of, let me make sure I got it right, yeah. The Not the first row in front of that gap, but the second row in front of it. You just want to place a little wall here. And it's gonna you're going to have some weird things happening with your roof. Those will, I don't want to say be resolved, because they're still an issue, right? But they're not going to be as noticeable. So I think we're going to do the ceiling in these two rooms, and then we're going to worry about the uh, bedroom. And we'll probably actually almost like reverse ourselves when we hit the bedroom. We're going to probably come back through and, like, furnish everything. So, in this first room, it's fairly easy. However, we don't... No, we do have the required materials. I lied. Um, from the two light blue concrete corners, kind of above the window at the front here, you want to go all the way to the back with oak plank rows in those... Sorry, in those rows? Like that. Then opposite on oak slabs will take the middle. Like so. This next room makes zero sense, I'm pretty sure. Although, I don't know. I haven't made it in at least a day, so... It's been a lot more in the day, by the way. Just figured I'd let you know. So, okay. Okay, that makes less sense, but also makes enough sense for me to be like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, we're gonna kind of isolate this a little bit here. And the way I'm gonna tell you to do that is uh, making sure that that's actually what I think it is, which it is. But you want to place under these mangrove rows here... Um, at the kind of very front here, you want to place oak plank rows going all the way to the back, and then you want to connect them together at set back, just because there's some weird things happening. I think there's, there's supposed to be some weird things happening. Maybe there's not. Or maybe there's not supposed to be, but maybe there's just like... Hold on, let me actually break through real quick. Okay, there isn't. I just made it this way. Good to know. 
Uh, then you want to place obstinate oak slabs wrapping around in the same fashion. Why is my PC lagging, man? This is like a top-notch PC. Th that was slightly joking, but slightly not joking. Anyway, then you'll have a middle here, and you'll fill this in with oak planks. And you'll notice we kind of left something slightly amiss, which is fine. So yeah, there you go. Uh, this whole section kind of uh, over here between the room that we've already done and the, what we just did. You're just going to want to fill this in with oak planks in line with that bottom row of oak planks. Because that covers up everything nicely. Like so. Also, I feel like something is wrong here. And I forget what it was that I was having an issue with. But because I feel like this doorway has got to be blocked off or something because of this painting. Although... I'll leave something in the comments... If, because I'm going to check Alpha 2 after I finish recording this, I'm going to, like, put something in the comments if there's something here. Or if not, you'll see some segment, like, uh, when we come back to furnish this area here, because I, it just feels weird to me. I don't know. Anyway, coming through the birch door to the uh, final room, a.k.a. the bedroom, I should give myself spectator, I feel like. Oh my god, why are my frames so bad? You want to take the fourth light blue concrete either side of the window like this. It's the fourth. And you want to place light blue concrete walls. Actually, this back one res will reside on this pillar quartz row, which is pretty nice. And then you'll just bring it up with the really the only... The, there's only three rows that you can place, which is unfortunate. And then you'll just kind of fill in the roof from there. So it'll be oak plank rows at either at the front and the back, and then the ups and oak slabs. And you obviously don't want to fill in the gap that you have here, so just kind of, you know, work around it like so. Oh, I I worked around it, but not exactly right. Rightly, but we'll go with that. So it should give you something like this. You know what I think it's time to do? Furnish this room. So, clear inventory and get out. Uh, you're going to need a lot of these materials again, by the way, just so be aware of uh, repetitiveness. You need mangrove stairs. Oh, look, it's cherry blossom. Uh, you need birch trap doors. Are there anything in those birch trap doors? I don't think so. Oh, there is. Prismarine brick slabs. Paintings. Oh, look, hanging signs. That's actually really crazy. Uh, behind, what is, oh, that's suspicious. Why is that in items? No! Sorry, I'm just now seeing this stuff. Um, red concrete. <laughs> this should not be funny, man. Yellow wool and a red wool, just because I don't feel like saying them separately. And oak door. Is that actually going to be your room done? <gasps> that's crazy. Okay, who dare? Nobody cares. Um, anyway. From the back right-hand corner of this room, you want to place in this corner going up to red wool. Not exactly, well, kind of like that. Top one, you want to go up diagonally to the left of the red wool, then go down diagonally to the left of the yellow wool, and down with the yellow wool. Place oak door in the middle. You want to, from this uh, top more, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, what was I, what was there? Oh yeah, an oak door. From this um, top middle yellow wool, you want to count left to the third light blue concrete that's visible. That's this one. Above that, I'd place whatever, literally whatever, doesn't matter. And you want to place a one by or two by one painting here that is the actually it's ironically the flower version of that creeper one. Um, it's, it looks like he's censored. That one. I don't understand why a flower pot has a hand, but I want to ask questions. Anyway, in the back left hand corner, which is uh, I was gonna say opposite, but I guess across from the to the side of the closet. There we go. You want to place in this corner, moving forward, three beehives. Take the middle one and bring it right by one. And organize, or orient these however you want. I typically have tried to keep it so you can't actually see the little notch that they go into. Um, we're one material short, pain. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of your oak door and get out white banners, because we need white banners. Uh, and you want to, I guess from this rightmost beehive, you want to count right to and forward two and you want to place here a red concrete with a white banner on its right face so it's facing away from the window that scared me um from the front left hand corner you want to count right to and back one and place a mangrove stair facing backward then go back four diagonally to the right from that sorry and you want to place a birch trap door facing with the handle or with the little handle on the left side You'll then bring it right with two prismarine brick slabs and a birch trap door with the handle facing right. Behind either of those, you'll place birch trap doors with handles facing back, and then you'll open all those up against it, and then that'll give you your little... I think it's a bed, it might be a crib, I forget. Um, but it's, it's a thing, that's for sure. 
Um, from the block, basically from the corner block between the trap doors at the right side. It's this one. You want to count back when I place a beehive. Also, in line with that beehive, you want to come back to this wall, and there will be a one block painting above this uh, trap door here. You can see the one that I'm highlighting, kind of. Well, you might not be able to see, but you can see where it re roughly is. It's this light blue concrete. There will be a one block painting, and it is the clown looking one. I know it's not a clown. But I refer to my things my ways, and that's just how it do be here around here, I suppose. It's a, I think a fish on a plate. I'm not really sure, but that doesn't count. Okay. Anyway, next room. Um, you shouldn't clear inventory yet because we do want, we want the paintings again, but I don't think we can actually use the paintings yet, unfortunately. Is there any other paintings in the? No, there's not. Okay, so we can. Get rid of your white banner and get out either structure void or barrier. We talked about this before with that. Um, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. What do we need structure voids for? I don't know. It's not important. But uh, the, the point is you need them again. And you want to come into this middle room. And in this gap in the wall, you do want to place a structure void. And on the wall here, you want to place a one block painting. And it's yeah, this one. It's the, like, colored one. Kind of looks like there's an eye in it. No idea what it is. Um, I guess you can keep your- I'm actually gonna put my structure board in my inventory because we're not gonna need it again and I really don't feel like losing it. You actually, we might need it again on the first floor, so I'd also pocket it. Although, worst case, if you ever need to, you come back up here and structure- or block pick it, I mean. Um, so from the front of this room, we're going to orient ourselves because it makes the most sense in my head. And we're gonna come to the front left-hand corner. You wanna count back by three, and right two, and place a mangrove stair facing left. Go back diagonally to the left and place a beehive. Count right by three, place beehive. Count back diagonally to the left by two, place a beehive. Count back two, place a beehive. Count back one and then right two, place a beehive. Count forward two and then right one and place a beehive. And that's your beehives. Get out, smooth court stairs, and in the front left-hand corner, you want to just place one facing back. And then you want to leave a one block out moving across the front, place a stair facing uh, right, stair facing back, and then stair facing left. And then give you a little couch. Uh, you can make this bigger and bulkier if you want to, although I think for spacing purposes, I think it's just better to have it that size. Although it's completely up to you. I'm not going to stop you. Well, unlikely. Um... Get out of this room, because it's stupid, and come into this little small room here. There's some weird things happening with this room, and I, um, have to, oh my god, why are my frames so bad? Good god, man, like, calm yourself. Okay, get rid of your red wool and get out smooth quartz blocks. And we're going to pretend that the window's at the back this time. I know that, like, goes against everything we just did, but it'll make more sense. So from the quote-unquote back right-hand corner of this room, which is this one, you want to count forward by one and place two smooth quartz blocks moving left. On top of them, place smooth quartz stairs facing into each other, and in front of those smooth quartz blocks, place stairs facing... Those stairs are... Okay. Stairs facing away from each other on top, stairs facing into each other on... In front. I'm, I'm sorry, that was stupid. Struggling. Still. In front of the right stair, you can place a beehive, and I think we can do the all clear inventory. Yes, you can. Clear inventory, get out acacia fence, spruce fence, monster spawners, this step gets weird because I really can't guarantee this is going to work, um, and armor stands for now, I'm going to just tell you with those because it'll make more sense this way, uh, behind, or I guess, no, not behind, left, yeah, left from the back smooth cords block, this kind of corner here of the uh, chair. You want to place an armor stand facing kind of diagonally away from everything. Diagonally to the corner like that. And then you want to pose it so it's has its has its arm on its left down and on its right kind of pointing. Kind of pointing in front of it. It's, which one is it? It's that one. If you made Alpha 1, you'll have noted, you're, you'll have remembered this very well. My god, grammar. Um, I guess if you want to just look at the beehive here for the next step, and you want to tra trace it straight across to the left, you want to place a spruce fence with a monster spawner on top. We'll come back to that in a second here. Because on top of these three stripped oak woods, you want to place a acacia fence. There are no lights on the second floor, as far as I can remember. But what I did with the monster spawner was I took a spawn a lay... 
I think it was in LA. I don't know. It looks like in LA. Yeah, no, it's in LA. And uh, no, it's not in LA. I lied. It's a Vex. Um, they're the same thing. Um, and I put it in. I think this only works if you're on P. No, it might work because the lighting. Although, just make sure it doesn't get dark, because then I think you're gonna have some problems. Um, okay, I do have it on peaceful, so it might only work on peaceful. So just keep that in mind. It's a, a Vex in there, and um, yeah, that's kind of the closest thing I can get to the crow. I, I originally tried parrots, but they started spawning everywhere, and I was not really interested in that. Even with mobs spawning off. That might work differently in Java. If you have Java, sure, go ahead and throw all the bragging rights in the comments. But, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna, uh, smash through the window, just casually, to get back to the first floor. Because we're gonna start from the, I guess, the front, because I don't know. Um, with a fresh inventory, you wanna get out red wool, yellow wool, oak doors, and, yeah, we're gonna do a painting run. Um, which is basically just, we're gonna do all the paintings on the first floor. However, I think I'm also going to do all the closets, so we're going to kind of start slowly adding wools, because I know a bunch of them are like... I think you also need white, orange, and blue wool. Or light blue wool. White, orange, and light blue wool. I'm going to grab those three as well. There might be more, although those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. So, in the front right-hand corner here, you're going to place two red wool. Then go up diagonally to the left with a yellow wool, down diagonally to the left... Or, sorry, up diagonally left with a red wool, down diagonally left with a yellow, down with a yellow oak door in the middle. Um, in this hallway, you want to place, kind of in line with the door here, the uh, door to the living room. It'll be on the block on the back wall that's in line with the top half of it. You want to place a one block painting here. That is that black and white one that has the triangle. There we go. And then up diagonally left from that, you're going to place, god dang it, I still need that place. But you're going to place the uh, yellow kind of city skyline looking one, that one right there. And then if you look at the left wall here, you want to... On the fourth and fifth blocks, you want one block paintings, and the uh, fifth block one will be the clown, and the this one will be the um, skyline, like that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, you know what, I'm going to also tell you to get out... What am I going to tell you to get out? Torches and nether brick fences. The nether brick fences will make more sense in a second here. Um, so we're, we're just going to like do as much as we can. So, um, kind of the right side where the wall sticks in a little bit, or where there's a little, like, or sticks out a little bit. Just behind the door, along in line with the second block, you want to place another uh, triangle one block. Okay, thank you. Uh, you want to count up one from that and then back by two and place a torch here, and in line with it along the other wall. No, I lied, actually. In line with it along the other wall and one block forward, you're going to place a torch on this side, so it's there. Down diagonally backward from the torch, you're going to place a one blocker that is uh, the yellow one that looks really weird. It's got like a white trim around three sides. Oh, okay, I got it twice in a row, that's good. Uh, you want to then up diagonally right from it, you're going to want to place the um, green guy with the teacup. I swear, now that I want him, I'm not going to get him, which I did get him. Then count back to down one, place another one blocker, and this one is the giraffe. It's not a giraffe, it has no neck. And then you want to go up diagonally backward from that, place a torch. Why are there so many paintings? Why did I do this? Along the top row here that you can at least place paintings on at the, at this back wall, the second block and the third, the, f not the third, the fifth, you want to place one block paintings on each of them. The right more one will be the clown and the left more one will be the yellow one. Um, from that, uh, clown painting, you want to leave a two-block gap moving back, and you're going to want to break into the ceiling and place another brick fence. This is a warped plank right here, I know, crazy. It does not need to be a warped plank. If you want it to be smooth quartz, make it smooth quartz. It's completely fine. Um, oh look, we need to make a closet. In this little corner here, and directly in the corner, you're going to place, uh, two red wool. Go up diagonally out with a white wool, down diagonally with an orange wool, down with an orange wool, wool oak door on the front, like that. Um, unless I counted wrong. So, from the iron door, you want to count up one, and you want to count left two, and here will be a one block painting, which is a black and white triangle one, that one. Up diagonally to the right from that iron door, you'll place a torch. 
Then you'll leave a one block gap, then it'll be the uh, little teacup green guy painting. Then you'll leave a one block gap, it'll be torch. Not in line with the painting, but one block left of that teacup painting, you want to count to the four slab forward, break it, place another brick fence. This has to be a warped plank. And then come into the kitchen, where I think there's like 19 paintings, not really, but there's a lot of paintings, I'm pretty sure, back here. No, there's only two. Well, there's some in that hallway. That hallway's not a problem, though. Um, from the front left-hand corner, you want to count backward diagonally to the right by three. Break this, place another brick fence. This should have a smooth court sub above it. I'm going to place... I'm going to place white wool. <laughs> it's not that much different. I don't feel like getting out the materials a lot. You can worry about that later. This is the point where I lose all motivation. Anyway, um, from the uh, bottom right-hand corner, this kind of indented wall here, you want to count left two and up one, and you're going to want to place a little teacup guy here. There we go. And then I'll okay, it off, and that'll be the yellow city skyline. Come inside the hallway, and then we can finally be done the torment. You want to count to the third block back, and it's going to be the clown painting. And then a uh, two block gap going back, and it'll be the yellow kind of plate one. I don't even know how to describe it. It's that one. And along the back, leaving a one block gap from that painting side, you're going to want to place... Actually, no, we're going to start from the back right-hand corner and place two red wool moving up. Go up diagonal left, actually with a cyan wool, so get it ready for your light blue and get out cyan wool. Then go down diagonally left with a white, down with a white, and then we'll be an oak door on the front of that, whoopsies. But, um, there is still stuff, so let's, uh, make our way over there. It's all the way at the left side if you don't know where it is. If you don't know where it is, I'm kind of impressed, though, to be honest. In a bad way. <laughs> at least I'm honest. Um... Why is that like that? Okay, never mind. We're going to ignore that for just like a second here, because whatever. And you're going to want to uh, come to the front left-hand corner and count back by one. And align with the, uh, as far up as you can go, you want to place a one block. Uh, it's like a giraffe camel thing. Finally. Then leave a uh, two block gap from going backward from that. And you want to place torch. One block gap, uh, that yellow bowl painting, that one. One block gap back, and then the, um, multicolored one that has an eye on it, at least in my my opinion, that one. From the other side, the right side, from that indent, you want to leave a two block gap moving forward, and then you want to place a one block painting that is that yellow one again. And then... From the torch, actually, you want to count to the fifth slab. So first is above it, second, third, fourth, fifth. Break it. Another brick fence. This can also be smooth quartz above. And um, you can clear inventory and get out light blue concrete for a sec. Because you actually want to take these two rows of light blue concrete and bring them in, in, in an additional row and then connect them together along the ceiling like that. Pretty simple. Let me make sure the bathroom also does not get connected along the ceiling, because if it does, then we should probably do that. It does! Okay. So, um, if you- I'm actually just gonna use the outside and a brick to the window, but, uh, the lightly contrast at the top of the bathroom here will also be brought across. I wasn't sure if it was all of them or not, so I was like, eh, I better play it safe. Let's start with the bedroom, because we're already here. Um, we're probably also gonna finish with a lantern run, I think that seems fair. Well, maybe not, because we need lanterns throughout the room, so... God, I, I swear I heard the glass break. That was so weird. It's like the, the imagination where you're like, okay, yeah, I heard that sound because you're just so used to hearing it whenever something happens. Uh, you want to clear inventory. Get out white banners, black concrete, crimson trap doors. Hey, look, it's uh, cherry. Oh, my God. Crimson moved down. That's cringe. Um, polished blackstone walls. Why did I make that? Never mind. Spruce stairs. We're going to ignore whatever is happening with that. Um, oak plank. Light blue, con light gray concrete, excuse me. Spruce trap doors. And I guess we'll go purple banners. Make sure the back isn't also. Okay, the back is weird. Uh, the front window here, you want to cover up the left and the right glass panes with white banners. Um, and then. 
for this half, we're gonna pretend that we're like looking at the back right now when we're looking at this window. Um, because at the uh, front, I guess the back left hand corner now, you wanna count um, towards you by two and right by one, and place a black concrete with a crimson trap door on its right face, and then bring the black concrete up with polished black snow walls and break into the ceiling as well. And this should also be, um, it should be smooth quartz, you know what, I have to get it out anyway, because I broke through, so, yeah, I'm not gonna probably do most of that, because I don't really care enough, to be honest, and I'm trying to proceed with speed. Um, from this kind of painting on this right, or the wall here, you want to do the one, the one lone painting, you want to leave a one block out place opposite on spruce stair facing towards the actual front of the build, and then another upside on spruce stair. Moving forward from the actual front, and then we'll be facing into it like that. That was really bad explanation. I know I screwed up everything there. We're gonna turn ourselves back around into as a normal, as if it was normal. So now we're actually looking at the back, and that's actually the back. Uh, from the kind of back right hand corner of the before the like intersection here, I guess the little doorway thing. You want to from this corner go four diagonally to left by one place, no blank. Purple banner on its front face, light gray concrete on top, and surround the light gray concrete and spruce trap doors on every side except for that front face. Because you need to be able to watch the TV. It's not just a wood box. On a wood box, ironically. Um, okay. At the front left-hand corner, you want to uh, count back by one to place no plank. I think that's everything that we can do with everything that we have. Correct. Clear inventory again. Get out prismarine brick stairs. Purple beds. One sec, I'll figure it out. I was like half figuring out something else while I said that. Cyan concrete. Green banners. Or actually a singular green banner. Blue banners. Red carpet. And we'll get out... Okay, we actually need stuff back here, too, so I'll just get those two things out. Spruce stairs, dark oak fence, and I'm going to just get out lanterns because I might as well at least get the one in here. Um, so from the front left... So you want to actually come to the oak plank on the left side, and that's a good starter point. Uh, count back by two, and along the wall, you want to place an upside down prismarine brick stair facing right. Bring it right with an upside down prismarine brick stair facing left. We'll need a placeholder block for that. Place a purple bed on top of those, making sure that the uh, white pillow part is at the uh, up against the wall. And then um, you want to, from the kind of back left-hand corner, the, again, before the little uh, doorway thing, you want to count forward one, place cyan concrete with a green banner on the right face. Just at the TV for a second here, you want to, in front of this purple banner, place a red carpet. You can't place it, obviously, right there, so place it one out, and then bring it left one. Below the nether brick stair, you want to, or nether brick fence, excuse me, you want to place a lantern. Come to the back here in the back left hand corner, you want to place a spruce stair facing into the corner. That's the that's the quiet corner, guys. You go there, the timeout corner. Uh, and then uh, just kind of in front of that in this opposite corner, you'll place three dark oak fence moving up. Now, this window is a little bit different because on the light blue concrete on either side of it, you want to place blue banners, so it gives, the, again, the, I guess, kind of like shades effect, but it doesn't actually cover anything up that time, so. While we have what we have, I want you to come around and you want to come outside of this room and you want to kind of come around and to this little back kind of corner here the window is all centered and i hate that but that's how it is so i don't know i guess unfortunate uh, but along this wall you want to count to the third light blue concrete in at this fronter wall which is this one right here and then you want to place three dark oak fence moving up can we do anything else i'm we can do a lot with the spruce stairs but i'm gonna actually ignore that for now because it doesn't matter um, although if you want to actually go do that lantern run, we'll still need lanterns, it'll just kind of make it less a lot. So just below each nether brick fence around the build, I'm gonna place a lantern. You don't have to do this, you can do it as you go, although I just want to get it out of the way, because when things aren't in my way, it's usually better. Anyway, come back to where we're working, because we're gonna end up doing these two rooms here, and then we're gonna work our way forward in a little snake. 
Clear inventory, get out oak stairs. I'm just gonna do this step on its or er, on its own. And you want to behind the uh, bottom dark oak fence, place an oak stair facing back. Bring it right with an oak stair facing left. Bring that stair back with a stair facing back. Bring that left with a stair facing right. And they should all uh, kind of create this little box. It's the lost and found box. You'll see this again in Act Three, if I'm correct. Although I might not be, I'm not really sure. Um, very reassuring. Clear your inventory and get out blocks of iron, uh, wherever they are. There we go. Spruce trap doors. Uh, uh, wax oxidized cut copper, wait. Wax oxidized cut copper stairs? Yes. Um, stone stairs, it looks different for some reason to me. Red nether brick slabs, and that's actually all you need. Yeah, it is oxidized. It's just for some reason it looks greener on my PC than it does on a uh, PlayStation. But uh, that's not important, I guess. So at the front wall here, you want to break the a middle rectangle that's a 3 by 2 Thankfully, you'll end up running into acacia planks, but nothing else. That's definitely intentional, I swear. Fill this in with block of iron, and then um, in line with the... Hold on, is it in line with both of them or just the bottom? Okay, it isn't with the, both of them. Basically, in line with the iron blocks, you want to place uh, spruce trap doors kind of there. N not directly below the middle one, but or I guess back a block. You want to place a, a waxed oxidized cut copper stair facing right. So they'll be towards the bathroom if you have that sense of direction. It's away from the door. That's better. Um, to the side of it here, place a spruce trap door and open it up against it so it gives you this effect and it kind of, you know, it looks a lot like the, um, one of the Alpha 1 seats, which is kind of funny. Uh, but you want to then leave, I guess you can't really leave a gap here, or I guess you don't want to leave a gap because there's, yeah. As close as you can, you want to place a stone stair facing forward, like that. And then place one facing right and then one facing forward again, like that. I believe this is a gurney, although I cannot recall properly if it is, but I'm pretty sure it's a gurney, um, in case anybody wants to know. Uh, back left-hand corner of this room, four diagonally to the right by one red nether brick slab. That's what your room should look like. Hopefully, even if you're struggling following, which you shouldn't be because I'm just that good, I'm just kidding, not to be cocky, um, hopefully it's easy enough, these, it's not like it's a crazy house. I'm sorry I'm kind of speeding through this, I, I think it is, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to be on this hallway now, and you want to have a full, cl excuse me, a clear inventory, and you want to get out acacia planks, white banners, green carpet, wherever it is, yellow carpet, beehives, just checking to make sure that I got everything. Spruce stairs, spruce slabs, and lanterns. And what you want to do from here is you want to, along this back wall here, the paintings kind of have a two block gap in the middle of them, which you really want to kind of, you want to stretch that down and you want to place acacia planks in that gap with white banners on the front face. Now, you want to, from the bedroom door, you want to count out to the second work plank here, and you want to count forward by two in place, moving forward, two green carpet, yellow carpet, three green carpet, yellow carpet, two green carpet, and then you'll bring that whole thing right another row. Just before you hit this little, um, kind of extrusion here where this wall sticks out you want to leave a one block out moving back and place two beehives moving back with one on top of the back one and again do whatever you want with the little notches and this front portion of the hallway you want to from the very front you want to leave a two block gap and place an upside down spruce stair facing back bring it back with an upside down slab and then another upside down stair facing forward on top of the first stair you place there you want to place a lantern that's why you needed the lantern in case that was relevant. It's time for the inconsistencies to show in my building. Um, which is dumb. Uh, so you want to come through into the, um, whatever this thing's called, a, god dang it, a living room, right? And you want to, you kind of have where the wall goes in a little bit. It's right here at the left side, and you want to take this corner here, and you want to count 
Back two and right one to place a beehive with a lantern on top. I'm just trying to get rid of the materials that we have so we don't need them again, at least in this room. And then from the front right hand corner, you want to count back by two and place another beehive. Uh, how do I want to do this? Clear inventory, get out smooth court stairs. Mangrove stairs. Dark prismarine stairs, why not get out all the stairs? Um, oak planks, light gray concrete, spruce doors, or sorry, spruce trap doors and mangrove trap doors, um, uh, mangrove door, and we'll go flower pot, I guess. That seems like a fair end point. Uh, you could actually use, I guess, if you wanted to, the decorated pot, because it is bigger and the pot in the game is kind of big although then you can't put the bamboo in it which is unfortunate um at the right side or at the left side here sorry we have this little divot you want to place basically shell so at the front you'll place smooth court stairs facing um back at the back you'll place smooth court stairs facing forward and in the middle you'll just place them facing out and then i'd recommend either making this top row stairs or blocks it really doesn't actually matter just as long as it fills it in entirely and that's what you should have it's pretty easy so this beehive with the lantern on top of it, you want to go directly behind it and place a mangrove trap door and open it so it's on the right half of that block. Bring it right with a mangrove stair and then another mangrove trap door that you want to open up against that stair. Behind the stair, place a mangrove door. Directly right of the basement door, you want to place a dark prismarine stair facing right. Bring it right with a stair facing forward and then a stair facing left. Leave a one block gap going right from that place of flower pot. I'm just trying to, like, get anything done and dusted. From this beehive at the right side here, you want to count four diagonally to left by one, place an oak plank with a light gray concrete on top. And you want to, on top and on the back and right faces, or I guess the front and right faces, technically, you want to place spruce trap doors. These are, of course, the most annoying to do. So you'll have this if you look at it from kind of like the back of the room. Or if you look at it from the couch, you'll have this. Clear your inventory. Get out, I think, birch doors? Yes, birch doors. Oak doors. Warped doors. Mangrove slabs. Bamboo. I don't know why I said that like that. I thought it'd be funny. Um, white carpet. Gray carpet. Blue carpet. And I'll just get out a birch sign. We do need a couple more things, which sucks, but we'll just start with that. Um, so you have like a little bit of a three block gap here between the, uh, door into the kitchen and that, uh, beehive there, which is a box. You want to place, basically on the front half of the block in front of the birch door, you want to place a birch door like that. And then you want to place on the back half of the block, um, behind the beehive, you want to place a warped door on, like that, and then you'll just kind of place an oak door on this side, and it should close it all off. I have the handle on the, um, I don't even know, can I even do this? Oh, no, I can't, because I can place another door here on that little... Oh. It did... It didn't do the thing it was... Okay, never mind. The handle should be on the left side, prefer or the front side, preferably, although it doesn't matter. Mango slab on top like that. It's only different for the spacing, that's what I said about this, where my inconsistencies will show. Uh, put your bamboo in the, uh, flower pod, because that's a thing. And, uh, take the middle block of the dark prismarine couch, and you want to leave a one block at moving forward and place a white carpet. Bring it left two. Four diagonally to the left one. Forward two. Four diagonally to the right one. Right two. Back diagonally to the right one, and then back two. In the direct center, you'll place a gray carpet, and then that gray carpet will be surrounded in blue carpet. The colors might not be perfect on this one. I feel like it looks a little bit almost like not contrasting enough. Although, hey, it looks like a carpet, so that's my verdict. So we don't actually need uh, structure boards like I thought we were going to, which is fine. It's just, you know, don't forget to add the sign. It's just uh, Bert's sign, uh, second line down, exit, lime dye, glowing sack above basement. Okay. I don't know, oh, never mind, I know what that is. I was like, wait, what the frick is that? Um, although I did actually miss one thing before we move on. Clear inventory and just get out birch trap doors. 
And in the front left hand corner, you want to place two birch trap doors up against the wall. And you want to open them so the handles are on the downside and they're up against the wall like that. Just a radiator. And then coming to the door, which is what made me think of it, um, there is another one. Oh, wait, I missed another step in there. There's another one that is one block away from the front right hand corner. It's on the right wall here. What color is that? Okay, red. Get out, or you can get out red and white banners real quick, and in the, um, on the window in the right side of this room, you want to place white banners on the, uh, two sides of the glass panes, and in the, uh, living room, it'll be red banners on either side. Sorry, I'm just, you know. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Clear your inventory, and we should be able to do this in, I think, two sets of materials. That's my guess. Uh, get out item frames. Yeah, I guess one item frame. <coughs> clock, lime terracotta, warped door, smooth court stairs, levers, oak planks, gray concrete, and we'll go oak slabs. So we're going to basically orient ourselves, and we're looking towards the front of the building. We're going to pretend that this corner is left, and we're going left to right. In this corner, you're going to count right by two, and place two lime terracotta moving up. Place a warp door on the uh, face that looks is looking towards you, which is that one. Handle will be on the uh, left side from my perspective. What if I don't want a PS play? <laughs> Leave a one black gap moving right from that place, up and down smooth court stair with a lever on top of it. The lever should be facing towards the window, so that almost does give the effect that it's connected to the window. Or something like that, I don't know. Bring that right with two oak planks, gray concrete, oak plank, two ups and down oak slabs, and then uh, back with an oak plank. From this corner here, you want to leave a two black gap moving up, and you'll count left one then, and you'll place an oak plank. And then... Kind of want to do the same thing, except you want to count back two and place another oak plank like that. Let me confirm that we don't need any of these materials at all. No, okay, we still do. Um, come back to the uh, lime terracotta, and you want to go up diagonally left by one, place an item frame with a clock in it. Nice clock! Sorry, I have to make the joke like every time I see a clock. Um, clear your inventory, get out. I think I was actually very... Well, we might need a third set, but it's fine. Stone buttons... Flower pots, you need like three of them, I think. And the flowers you need are Lily of the Valley. And bamboo, actually, which isn't a flower, but pretend it is for now. So you only need Lily of the Valley. Can't believe I just remembered that. I'm just... Intellectual. Get out lanterns! <laughs> uh, polished deep slate... Slabs and polished deep slate walls. I was like, wait, hold on. Let me just, like, think about this. And, oh, boy. Oh, God. Green and white. Or, it's not yet. Not white. Green and yellow carpet. Um, so, on the two oak planks that are next to each other, you want to place stone buttons on the, uh, I guess, kind of back faces. On top of the right one, which is this one right here. It's further from the smooth quartz there. You want to place a flower pot with Lily of the Valley in it. Um... In front of the uh, top right-hand corner of the window, you want to place an ups and down polished deep slate slab. Break the smooth quartz slab above and place a polished deep slate wall. Gonna just place a polished deep slate slab up there. It should be smooth quartz, though. Place a lantern on the corner here. And that's actually that counter done. Um, from this oak plank here, you'll count toward me diagonally left, so four diagonally left, technically from my perspective. And you want to place two green carpet moving forward. Bring each one respectively left with yellow carpet. Three green carpet, yellow carpet, green carpet. Turn yourself around here, and now we're going to orient, uh, orient ourselves again as if this is normal. Back right-hand corner, flower pot with a bamboo in it. Get rid of the last four materials in your inventory and get out mangrove stairs, mangrove, not brick, mangrove slabs, and weighted heavy pressure plates, which are the iron ones, I believe, unless I said that wrong. Yes, weighted pre pressure plate heavy. It's not even called iron anymore, it's just called heavy. Um, back left-hand corner here, you want to count four diagonally to the right by one, place mangrove stair. One black gap moving right, place another mangrove stair. 
In front of either of those, and you might need a placeholder in the middle, you want to place the upside down mangrove stairs facing forward. And then in front of those, you'll place upside down mangrove stairs facing backward. And then in the middle of them, you'll place upside down mangrove slabs. From the front right hand corner, you want to leave a one block at moving forward from the table and place a mangrove stair facing back. And then at the front two corners, you'll place weighted heavy pressure place in the back middle. You'll also place one, and in the back right hand corner of the table will be a flower pot with Lily of the Valley. We're so close, we just need the bathroom. So clear inventory and come into the bathroom, and I also need to do the same on my PC account. So I know what the frick I'm supposed to be building here. I frankly don't. Um, you want to get out, smooth court stairs, stone brick walls, blue carpets, I might actually be able to do this in one set, mangrove trap doors, uh, it's going to be close, acacia planks, Oak planks. Levers. Bro, we're going to be like two block, two material short. This is cringe. I think exactly two, actually. Cyan banners. And we need sea lanterns as well. You also need uh, spruce signs with... I think gray dye it is. And that isn't really a required step, although you'll see what it is. So, uh, come to the back end. In line with the window here, you want to place two smooth court stairs. Along with another set facing towards those, like that. So, it gives you this. On either side, to place smooth court stairs facing into those, like that, so it gives you a rectangle. Front left hand stair, bring up with two stone brick walls, and bring that top stone brick wall right by one. Take the middle front two smooth court stairs, and bring them each forward with two blue carpet. At the left wall here, you want to knot at the, um... Not at the back block, kind of in front of this extrusion, or the little, you know, doorway. You want to count forward one, place up and down smooth court stair facing right with a mangrove trap door on top. Front wall, not in the corner, but two blocks over, so it's we're moving towards the door with that. You want to place acacia plank, lever powered on on top, oak plank on top of that. On the technically back face of the acacia plank, you'll place a cyan banner. Uh, on the ceiling, you want to, in the center of this, you want to just break two sea lanterns. So it's going to be right there. It's like two blocks off each side, and then you'll just fill that in. Those are one of those, like, long lights. They're usually in, like, schools and stuff. And they're actually in Little Nightmares too. For anybody who's watched that series, if you haven't, please do. It takes me way too long to make that. It's not even funny. Um, anyway... I don't remember the number for this, but we're going to take some wild guesses here. Uh, clear your inventory, get out spruce signs and gray dye. And you want to end up at the right of this little sticky outy part, at the second block up here. You want to place a spruce sign. Second line down, you want O's. And they want to be, I want to say it's like eight spaces apart. And I actually think I nailed that. They're eight spaces apart. I don't know why I remembered that. Well, hold on. Let me see if you can do nine. No. So, yeah, it's eight. That's crazy. And uh, then you're just going to want to have gray dye like so. And actually, I did that wrong. It is eight, but I just accidentally added an extra one. And then you also actually do want glow ink sack because it just makes it pop a little bit more like that. The gray dye isn't crazy, though. And, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going through the house. I've, I'm done. That is your... Oh, look, the banner's going through. That is your Hello Neighbor Alpha 2 remake house complete. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video. Now, as far as the uh, Alpha 2 player house is concerned, I already made it, and I have yet to remake it. If I remake it, it's at a later date. So I just use the old one. But I mean, I'll be fantastic for your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.